Hey guys, it's uh, Evan and Britta. Britta. I love you. Um, we're uh, we decided we would do a quick like who we are and some Q and A with each other just to um, get you guys acquainted with us and what we're doing and what this whole shenanigans is. What are we doing, Evan? Well, Britta. Um, we have decided to do a vlog, as you know, if you're watching this, um, that's pretty apparent. And, uh, we, uh, we kind of came about the idea because we've had friends and family saying, oh, you guys are, you guys are fun and interesting people. You should do something together. And, um, kind of until recently, we had no idea what that would be. Um, so, you know, we figured why not... Just, uh... Jump in. Jump in and start a YouTube channel. Uh, we're kind of in, like, a career transition time, and, uh... Yeah, we're in, like, a, a crossroads. A crossroads? We're at a crossroads. And so we figured, why not, like, live that out loud with you guys and, you know, see what happens and just kind of, like, put things out there. Yeah. Um, so... We're doing a kind of vlog-ish thing, and who knows, maybe there'll be tutorials, or who knows what's going to come out. Um, but we're trying to do everything uh, as unedited as we can, just coming to you guys as us, as our weird selves. <laughs> See, really, it's important to him, it's, that's important for you to guys me. to know that, that it's unedited and raw. So now you know. Now you know. Great. All right, um, let's jump into some questions. Let's jump in. All right, Britta. Um, yes, Evan. Where are you from? Well, it's funny you should say that. I don't know why. <laughs> why is it funny? <laughs> um, Great. But I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. And uh, so I grew up there until I was 18. And then I, um, you know, I loved being a Florida girl. I was always at the beach and everything. And then when it was time for college, I wanted to get far away, which I think a lot of Floridians do. It's just a thing. I think a lot of people just do yeah. that. So then I went to Illinois Wesleyan University, where I met this hunk over here. Um, and that was a great experience, getting used to, like, seasons and life far from home, which was seasons, hard, but also... I.e. winter. Exciting. Yeah. Yes. And then I um, followed him to New York a year after he went, and so now I'm here. So yes, Florida raised, and now I'm a New Yorker, kind of, I guess. I don't know, but I still think of myself as a Floridian. All right, Evan, where are you from? Well, uh, funny you should ask. Nah, it's stale uh, now. Yeah, sorry. Dad jokes. Go on. Uh, I'm uh, originally from Michigan, uh, suburbs of Detroit. Um, she hates it when I say Detroit because I'm not from Detroit, and it gives people the wrong impression. He's from West Bloomfield. If yeah. any of you know this, it's very different from Detroit. It so. is. Um, so I'm from West Bloomfield, uh, born and raised. Uh, we moved around a lot as uh, when I was a kid, um, following my dad and, and work things. So I lived in Michigan. I've lived in St. Charles, Illinois. I lived in South Carolina. Uh, and then we landed back in Michigan. And that's where I did, like, all my schooling, and then I went to Illinois Wesleyan, where I met this lovely lady. We met um, at the same place. Yeah, that makes sense. I know. Um, and then I moved to New York in 2010, and I've been here ever since, and she followed me when she graduated. But we didn't live together right away. He thought it's very important to live separate first, so we did it all the right ways. Calm down, everyone. I did. I did think that. That's true. Yeah, um, it yeah. all ended up. Well, it all worked out. Here we are. Yes. Oh, we're going. We're. we're That's. No. Is it? Uh, it's this. No. It's fine. All right. Let's get into some questions. Evan, what do you do? What do I do? Um, I am a professional theater person. What are those called? Actors. I'm an actor. Um, I mean. I mean. You're a dancer. I'm a dancer. Uh, I mean, you are an actor. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a performer. Um, I primarily work in music theater. Um, dance is kind of my specialty. Um. He's a Broadway guy. 
Uh, yeah, I'm a Broadway guy. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that is my chosen profession. It is great when it's great, and it's really awful when it's when it's not great. Um, yeah, we'll be getting into more of that, I'm sure, <laughs> in this blog. Yeah. Britta, what do you do? Oh, uh, well, Evan, uh, I also am a performer. More, I, I, I'd like to say that I'm more of an actor. I have danced and sang and all that my whole life, but I really like to act more than anything. I really want to get into this whole film TV situation. I think that would be really exciting. I feel like that's where I'm drawn most to. So I'm doing that and figuring that out in no way. I don't know how, but I'm just somehow trying to find different ways to get Navi there. Navigate? Yeah, navigate. But, it's um, you know, right now that's like kind of in this weird place because I also um, am a fitness and health nut and I um, got my certification, my NASM personal training certification recently. So now I've been training people, which is a huge passion that I've created and, um, you know, giving them health plans and helping with that journey too. So kind of doing both, which is a big part of my crossroads right now is figuring out which one's the right one to really follow. I know I can do both, but I don't know if I want to do both because it's really stressful. There's no money anywhere. So um, I'm just figuring that out. Those are my two things, though. That's, that's what I'd say I do right nice. now. Oh, yes, and I sell essential oils through doTERRA. Please join me if you want that. I can give you the information. Great. Okay, cool. Just a little um, plug. Um, what's next? What's your favorite? What was your favorite stuffed animal as a kid? My favorite stuffed animal as a kid. Um, this is for hard hitting questions, people. <laughs> hard hitting questions. Um, I had a stuffed llama, uh -huh. and uh, I named you still him. Still do. Technically, I I still do. Yeah, he's at my parents' house. Uh, his name is Dolly. Dolly the llama. That's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, what was your favorite stuffed animal? Uh, well, I had many. I mean, any of you who know me, you probably would just assume that, just because of who I am. <laughs> but um, I think the two that stand out was our nighty, which isn't a stuffed animal. It's nighty is actually my animal. mother's nightgown. And as a baby, I would always tug on it and pull on it. I was obsessed with it. It was just like silk nightgown. So eventually she just gave it to me, she gave it over to me, and I destroyed it as a child and carried it everywhere, and now it's just like a little rag, but it's still like so close to my heart, and I'll always have it. And my other one is Teddy. I was very creative with names. Nighty and Teddy. Teddy is, as you would imagine, a teddy bear um, that I got a long time ago from one of my favorite babysitters, and we've just been in it for the long haul, you know? It's me and him for life, and for a long time I had to have them on the bed with me even when I was with Evan, but I have graduated to just having them in the room. And it just gives me comfort to know they're there. Yeah, I understand. Thanks. Okay, what's next? Favorite Halloween costume? Ooh, that is tough. Um, for several years as a kid, uh, maybe not necessarily my, f my favorite as an adult, but definitely favorite as a kid was the classic Ninja. Uh, I spent several Halloweens as a ninja. Um, I think ninjas are pretty cool. They're, um, yep, I don't think I need to say any more about that. No, typical. Anyway. Um, How about you, How about you I had many, but um, I'd say my favorite one as a kid, because I did it several times, which clearly means that I really liked yep. it, was Thumbelina. I don't know if any of you remember that little movie it was kind of terrifying but i just loved the idea of being like a small poly pocket person so i was thumbelina mm. for many years interesting um and then in recent years i think my favorite is probably when i was a spider web i just like to be mm. things that are not people i've transitioned to being objects, objects for halloween i don't know why <laughs> it's just i um more appealing to me in college i went as the the Hamburglar one year. I really liked that. That's a big hit. Yeah. That was a big hit. You were a solar system that year. I was. I remember. I was before we were dating. Yeah. But that's what got him. Solar system. That and the Transformer t-shirt that I wore, even though I didn't watch Transformers, I wanted him to believe that I liked it, and it worked! It totally worked. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> um, what animal are you most afraid of? Oh, man. See, this is, <laughs> this is tough. 
because uh, for well you know I am not a big fan of uh, the water water in general there's just it it's scary to me to not know like what there is you like can't see what's happening um so like i'm i'm afraid of sharks and also uh like i don't know jellyfish are real weird to me i'm not necessarily like afraid of jellyfish but um yeah those are up there just things in the water that you Th can't see things in the water the unknown 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 <clears throat> the, unknown. the unknown water things are scary to me I don't like them. Yes, I know this. You know, we once, we were hanging out in the ocean, uh, tangent. I knew you were going to say this story <laughs> because I was busy. And, um, you know, like, like you do, you like are hanging out there, tread water, and she like swims in to like, give me a hug and be lovey. And I flipped out on her. I was like, no, I can't. No. Yeah, it was bizarre. Yeah. He's supposed to be my protector, and he just pushed I me am... off to fend for myself. Luckily, I'm not afraid of those things. I'm... I am Florida born. I'm not good in the water. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not a good swimmer. I have many other. He has many talents, and that is definitely not one. Water is not one of them. You can't have them all. It's true. It's true. Um, okay. What animal are you most afraid of? So my animal is not really an animal. It's an insect. That's an animal. Insects are animals. True. <laughs> I think honestly I'm the most afraid of ticks. Mm, it's like a serious thing and people laugh, but if you think about it, it's a big issue these days. The, there's a tick outbreak going around and they can cause Lyme disease and we personally know people who've been affected by that. And so to me that is like the most terrifying thing because other animals are big and yes, it's hard to get away from all of them, but it feels like a doable thing, whereas yeah. ticks can just lie down. You don't even know they're there unless you check every little crevice, which we do every time we're outside. But you don't know. And they can just burrow in there. And then you got to, like, do the fire thing, which I've never had to do, but I don't want to know what it's like. So anyway, that is what I'm the most... Ticks, that's legit. Uh, I also just want to point out, your knee looks so weird in this shot. Um, this is her Hey, at least you can't see my legs that I haven't it shaved in a really long time. It's extra weird when I put my arm on it. <laughs> it's like a little nubbin. It's just like a weird <laughs> nubbin. Yeah. Um, all right, what are we, what are okay. we up to? We have, Run, running out of time. We are just rambling. Um, well, why don't we just skip a few of these because there's so many. All right, great. Um, what was your favorite birthday party as a kid? Uh, without a doubt, for my 13th birthday, uh, my parents through a magic party, like magic as in magic tricks, not magic the gathering. Um, there was this like small magic shop near our house and um, they had like a little like tiny black box theater. So my parents rented it out and uh, we like got to party in the magic shop and we had a make your own peanut butter and jelly bar and we played in improv games and uh, a magician performed and and I honestly was, feel uh, like this would still fun. be I his favorite birthday if we did this would next birthday. Really enjoy that. He's very into magic, which you will see. I'm sure we'll be doing some magic on this. Oh God, podcast. please no. No, we will. Um, please no. We will. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> My parents are great, and I'm they a giant. Are. I'm a giant nerd. So <laughs> it's, it's time you know. Britta. Um. Well, I had so many good ones, but the one that comes to mind right now is when I. It was my fifth birthday. I had a massive slumber party with like 12 girls when wow. I was turning five. Your parents are very brave. Yes, they are. And um, some highlights. I don't know if they'd be called highlights, but one was my friend Rachel Lubitz looking at my dad and he's like, come on guys, let's go into the other room for cake. And she looked him straight in the eyes and said, don't boss me. <laughs> and to this day, it's just stuck with us. Oh, it's like man. one of the funniest things classic. ever. Classic then, Rachel Classic Lubitz. Rachel. And then the last uh, thing, the other birthday thing that stands out to me is one time I wanted my mom to make this chocolate raspberry cake situation. Oh, the triangle. And she made, oh yeah, there's that too. We're going to go over 15 minutes. It's fine. We'll it's just fine. add a little tag on. Um, but she, uh, first of all, my mom wanted to make my birthday dreams come true, so she made me this like cake with these raspberry fudge balls, but they just looked like straight up poop. But like, I, I always remember they tasted so good, but just, she was so sad that they turned out so heinous looking. 
But I remember that so well. So I was like, thanks, Mom, you made me these balls, even though they're really weird. Right here. Then the other thing is a classic story in my family that everyone likes to tell is when I was in preschool. And my name is, I think it's time you know, my name's actually Brittany. But, you know, I love my parents, and they didn't know that I was a Brita, and I had to kind of tell them when I was like five, and everything changed after that. But I was born Brittany, so in preschool, they're like, Brittany, what kind of cake do you want this year? And I said, I was learning the shapes and the flavors of things, and I said, raspberry triangle, please. And you better believe they got me a raspberry triangle cake from Publix. If you're from the South, you know Publix is the best in all the land. Yes. And basically, they just, like, cut it into a triangle, and then they gave us the rest as, like, a side. It was really cute. And then for my 21st birthday, they surprised me with another one. Raspberry triangle, man. It's the, so good. The triangle for the win. Yeah, you got it. Why not? Think outside of the box. So um, those are my birthday. I didn't really answer that, but it's, like, my birthday memories uh, that stood out. Okay, Evan, um, I want us to say what our favorite food is okay. at the same time. I'm going to say one, two, three, and say it, okay? okay, okay and I, I feel like I already know your answer, but... Okay. All right, let's see. One, two, three. Tacos. tacos. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> tacos. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing else to that. There's um, plenty of other wonderful foods out there. Yes, but, we love um, all food, but tacos. You guys, tacos. They're so versatile. Uh, we don't even have to go into it. Let's just leave it with yeah. that. Tacos. Um, all right, shoe <laughs> size. Uh, I wear a sensible eight and a half. Okay. How about you? I actually used to be a seven, and now I'm a six and a half. I thought that happened once you were like 80, but here I am. Shrinking <laughs> feet one day at a time. Oh, that is just so, that's so great. Really weird. Yeah. I, I can't explain it. Okay, mm -hmm. um, dream vacation. Um, I mean, we kind of nailed it on our honeymoon. Yeah. It was pretty wonderful. Uh, we went to Greece for our honeymoon. Um, mm. it was absolutely amazing. We flew in and out of Athens. We went to Mykonos and Santorini, and it was just great. It was like the perfect combination of it's really long and red. Stuff in my Sorry, beard. go on. I just have one long red hair in my go beard. Go on, proceed. Thank you. Uh, it was like the perfect combination of activities and uh, rest. And um, the people of Greece are amazing. They're mm. just so the welcoming and generous. And we had a really great time. Yeah, you should definitely go. We can tell you more about it if you want. <laughs> it's the best. Um, dream vacation. I mean, I'm just thinking about the next place we really want to go, which is Ireland. Well, it's London and Ireland. We want to make a big trip of it because our dear friend Jordan, Jordy, we love you, is there. He's in London getting his grad, his master's. His grad. His grad degree. I mean, that works. Yeah, it's kind of the same. Um, and he's just this amazing playwright and he's living his dreams and we want to go stay with him and like have him kind of like show us around and then also pop, pop, pop over to Ireland because it's just everything that we want. It's like happy people drinking you know, beautiful, beautiful landscape, like just everything sounds just heavenly. So yeah. we got to go. Deal. Let's I do think it. We should go right now. Goodbye. No. Um, just a few more. All right. Uh, I don't want to do that one. All right. What about um, your favorite thing about the city and the worst thing about the city for you? Oh, man. Um, I mean, one of my favorite things about the city is... Uh, we have a pretty awesome apartment situation. Um, we have, we're like the real life friends where we have friends in our building. Um, like best friends. Like very best, super close friends uh, who live in our building. So yes, to hang out, we don't even have to put real shoes on. We can just like toss some slippers on and walk to an apartment. And we all like to do the same things, like games and movies. We have a movie theater five minutes away from us, and we have movie pass, which you need to get, get because God only knows how long it's going to last. And um, we just go to movies all the time together if we want to go out. But if not, we just play games and hang out yeah. and watch shows. And it's um, So that's that's my favorite thing. That's not necessarily a like, city-exclusive thing, but yeah. it's our life here. And then um, we should say on three what our worst, what the worst thing is. Okay, great. One, two, three, say it, okay? Okay. One, two, three. MTA! <laughs> We're meant for each other. God, oh, you're perfect. If anyone lives in the city, they know 
They know. Yeah. You know. And um, if you don't, God, I hope you never know. Yeah. The MTA, uh, they're trying, I guess. It's the public transit, just in case you don't know. And it's, um... Sometimes it's nice. When it works, it's it's nice. It's great when you, like, walk down the stairs and your train comes and... The worst part is just the unpredictability. Yeah. You just don't know if it's going to be hor- horrid yeah. or great, so... That makes things difficult. And when you're when it's disgusting outside like it is right now, it's like slushy snow. It's like yeah. you have to walk to it. You have to be in there. It's usually still cold down there or too hot. You're wearing a coat and then you're sweating profusely and then you never know what crazies are going to be there. And then it's just, it's a lot. It, it really does tire you out. Yeah. And that's a part of every day. So I think that is definitely the hardest part. Yeah. Great. And then my favorite thing, I mean, obviously besties in building. And also just the fact that there are so many opportunities here, no matter what it is, whether you're doing theater, it's not easy, but there are a lot of different ways to be creatively fulfilled. And then also there's um, a lot of, no matter what your career is, like training people or if I want to sell my oils, there's a lot of people I can talk to about it. It's just, there's so much opportunity here. Limitless. Yeah. And then our last thing is we prepared a secret question for each other. So I'm going to ask him my question for him, and then he'll ask me his, and then we'll wrap it up, and you can be on your way to your day. Okay, so. Hit me with it. Would you rather be a mermaid or half man, half horse? What is that called? A centaur? A centaur. Uh, well... Because of my previously mentioned fear of sh- my previously slurring my speech, uh, because of my previously mentioned fear of sharks, uh, I'm gonna go with centaur. Okay, that's a good one. That that's really easy. that's really good. Thanks. I thought about it in the shower <laughs> right before this. Okay. I like that. Mine is not as good. Um, I want to know your favorite board game of all time. I know it's so hard. We're so you'll find out. We're big game people. We love games of all kinds. Uh, I like video games. She does not so much. Uh, we love board games and card games and dice games. We love games all the and, games. Yeah, it's true. Uh, we but love like, trivia. <laughs> yeah, we're going to trivia tonight. Yay! Okay, board game. So not card. Board. So I would consider like uh, a game, like a purchased game from a store. So, like, you can't use, like, poker okay, or... Okay, so not like, one with, like, a regular deck yeah. of cards. Um, board game. Oh, my God. I know. That's a tough one. I sprung it on you. Just, uh, just go with what hits you in the moment. Favorite game, go! I mean, right now my favorite game is Romy Cube. But I don't know how to... I do not know how to pick an all-time favorite game. Because it just changes completely depending on who I am as a person. Yeah. How I'm feeling. So, Remy Cube right now, which is really great. It's like a combination of Remy and, um, what's that other thing? Oh, Domino's. And my dad introduced us to it and we're really into it. So, thanks, Dad. It's fun. Um, um, yeah, okay. So, I think this is a good start. Maybe you know good. a little more about <laughs> us. Um, we went way over what we said. We were going to go, but... You know what happens. Such is life. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm... I have to apologize for my Hermione hair. Right now it's a little Hermione, you know, when you get out of the shower and it's still like getting, it's settling back into my head. So, sorry. Um, great, yeah. So that's uh, a little bit more about us. Uh, feel free to hit us with some questions uh, in the comments and you know we'll do another round of these. Um, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe. Yes, yeah, subscribe. And hit that like button and share with your friends. And if you don't like, um, then you, don't say anything to yeah, anyone and just, just keep, keep, keep your, your mouth, mouth shut. shut. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, I love you. Love you too. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Thanks for watching.